This is Beyond the News with your anchor them, Eugene Victor. This man goes by the studio every single day. It's his livelihood. Coffins in Italy. Oops. Actually, coffins in Africa in 2014. Crowded hospital in Italy. Oops. Actually, a crowded hospital in New York. Or is it Italy? Or is it New York? Or is it a movie set? Capitalism. Seems like ages ago, so let's check in on the delegate count for the Democratic branch of the war party. In the lead, Ukraine Joe has 1,217, while faux aggressive Bernie has 940. Intermountain Healthcare, located in Utah, announced today that they are giving physicians, nurses, and physicians' assistants a huge ray. Wait a minute. Check that. Okay. Intermountain Healthcare is cutting pay for physicians, nurses, and physicians' assistants during the COVID-19 virus pandemic. Capitalism! Friends, have you tried new sizzle fry bacon? Oh, mmm, 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 fries in minutes, kills in 30 to 40 years. That's new sizzle fry bacon from nitrate. In prison? Not in prison. In prison? Not in prison. In prison? Not in prison. And speaking of prisons, there are 2,418,000 prison beds in the United States, while there are only 924,100 hospital beds. Capitalism! It's just in breaking news. Let's go to our correspondent, Wolf Blintzes, in a basement somewhere in inner southeast Portland. Wolf? Wolf, can you hear me? No. No, I, I can't. Eugene, can you hear me? Of course I can hear you. Can you hear me? Not at all. There must be some kind of a transmission difficulty. I'm forced to shoot this using my laptop during patriotic martial law. Oh, okay. So what's happening in Portland, Oregon? How should I know? I'm stuck in a basement somewhere in inner southeast Portland, Oregon. That was our correspondent, Wolf Blintzes, reporting from Portland, Oregon. <clears throat> Page three. Friends, are you annoyed by your fellow movie patrons? Too many cell phones? Too much talking? Is it all just too much? Then try new theater defense spray. Yes, new theater. Why are we doing this? No one could go to the movies anyway. Time once again for a blistering rant. The progressives of the war party have abandoned the refugees kept locked away in concentration camps on our border during this virus crisis. No white-clad Alexandria-controlled opposition. No F-35 Bernie. No one. They only scurry out of their pestilent rat holes when it suits them for an agenda and the photo op. They are fucking cowards. Remember, 
They don't give a shit about you or the refugees. Close down the camps. And that's the way it is. Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. America's endless war is now 6,749 days old. Martial law is 16 years old, you imperialist fox. This has been Beyond the News with Anchor Them, Eugene Victor.